Hello and welcome to the video. Now in this video I'm going to talk about doubles and it's something that I know that you'll have come across before, you'll have seen takeout doubles, you'll have seen penalty doubles, uh, but there might be some confusion around when is a double a takeout double, when is it a penalty double, maybe that puts you off bidding them or bidding them as often as perhaps you could do. So in this video I'm going to set up some rules about how to tell the difference between the two different types of doubles. And then we're also going to have a, a look at some competitive bid, uh, bidding where doubles can play a really important key part. So the number one rule when it comes to doubles, and in fact with any part of the system that you might want to change or add in, is to agree the system with your partner. That's absolutely vital. So then we're going to set a rule of take out doubles or for any suit up to three spades. Now that's important if you think about the bidding. Somebody might open at the three level as a preemptive bid, and by having this agreement with your partner, it means that a double at that point is for takeout. Same as if, if you open one spade and respond three spades, a double then is still takeout. Doesn't matter how you get to that point. Which then means that penalty doubles are for any suit from four clubs upwards, and also for um, doubles of any no trump bid. Now, as you might imagine, there are some exceptions and we will look at those. But let's look at some of the uh, some definitions about the doubles that will help us to identify uh, where these exceptions lie. So first of all, for takeout double, when we double that suit, the, the underlying meaning is I want to overcall, but I don't have a bid that I can make. So we can set some rules about the doubles. It's either shorten the bid suit and could support all of the groups and if we put in a major we'll have four of the other major or uh, we're, we're too strong for the overcall and obviously partner can pass the double converting that takeout double into a penalty double so if we think about those two different types of bids that we do the double for we're either too strong to overcall or we're short in the suit which means we don't have a five card suit of our own but we're trying to find that fit with partner that's where the underlying meaning of I want to overcall but I don't have a bid that I can make comes into play. And once we understand that that's the underlying meaning behind the double, behind that takeout double, that means that we can identify when there's an exception. So doubling the suit, this is what the sort of underlying meanings behind it. When we double no trumps, we're saying that we're strong by 16 plus points and we intend that to be as penalties. A partner will pass or they might bid a five card suit um, if they're very weak. You know, if you've got 16 points and your partner's got zero points, then one no trump would make um, easy peasy and your partner's better to take you out of the one no trump that you've doubled and put you into a suit contract. So let's have a look at some of the exceptions then. And just bear in mind those rules uh, that we've set and the underlying meaning as we go through these examples. So in this example, um, the opposition have opened one heart, and in second seat we pass. Uh, the uh, opponent uh, responds uh, with one no trump, pass from partner, pass from the opener, and we double. So what's the double in this situation? If we think back to the rules, we've doubled a no trump contract, so that means this is for penalties, right? But wrong. If we had 16 plus points, surely we would have found a bid in that second seat. So the fact that we passed tells the partner that we don't have a strong hand so therefore the double can't be for penalties it must be a takeout double we must be saying one no trump's too easy to make let's bid at the two level and uh, try and make our contract or at least not go off by uh, too many so that we'd have been better defending for example so it's a takeout double so if we think back to the takeout doubles if we double a major we'll have four of the other major now, does that look likely in this situation? We could have doubled in the second seat, but we didn't. So this to me looks like we're possibly 4-4 four, four in the minors, maybe a three card spade suit, something like that. Something that isn't an ideal double in the second seat, but now we're in this balancing seat. And that balancing seat is where if we pass, then that's the contract that they play in. And we don't want them to play in one no trump at this stage. Uh, you know, maybe we've got 10 or 11 points, um, short in hearts, but we don't quite have the, the, the hand to double in that second seat in that first opportunity that we had. So that's the, the first exception. Have a look at this one now. 
Um, we open one heart in this example, the opposition pass, two heart response from partner, two spades from the opposition, and then we double. So if we think back to those rules, this means what that we're short in spades and can support all of the suits and we've got four hearts. Well, we've already told partner we've got hearts, partner's already raised our hearts, so we've got a fit. So because we've got this fit in the opposition of bid, this double is now going to be not quite a penalty double, but it's going to ask partner, are you happy to defend this contract or not? So this will be a non-minimum hand. So by that, we're not going to have 10 or 12 points or 13 points. This is going to be more like a, a 16 or 17 point hand. So we're doubling to say, look, I've got a good hand here, partner, and I'm happy to defend if you are. And if you're not happy to defend, I'm strong enough to cope if you bid to three hearts. So it's what I would call like a constructive double, tells partner that we're non-minimum and we're happy to defend if they are. So here's an example, the opposition open one heart, our partner passes, the opposition pass, and then we double. So here we're in that balancing seat again. And so whilst the double is going to be a takeout double, the meanings may be slightly skewed. So for example, we might not have four spades here, even though normally if we double a major, we'll have four of the other major. We may only have three spades, four, four in the minor, double to the heart, something like that. So we do want partner to bid, or partner might pass if they're sat with five or six hearts and a reasonable hand, they just didn't have an overcall to make. We're quite happy for them to pass and convert this into a penalty double. Just bear in mind though, that it is a balancing double. So we're uh, maybe doing this a little bit lighter than we would do in the second seat. So maybe nine or 10 points there. And we might not have the four spades that we might that normally want to have uh, for a double of hearts. And in the last example, um, the opposition open uh, one heart, pass, two hearts, partner passes, the opposition pass, and we double. Again, this is that balancing situation uh, where we're in the fourth seat. If we pass now, then the opposition play in two hearts. And as a general principle, it's a good idea to not let the opposition play at the two level when they've got a fit like that. Much better to uh, double and try and either play in our own part score at the three level, or um, to at least push them up into three hearts and see if we can defend three hearts instead of two. So again, we've got to think, well, why didn't we double at the first opportunity? And the answer is maybe we don't have four spades. Um, so again, this is going to push more towards four, four in the minors, something like that, where we'd want partner to uh, bid if they, uh, uh, aren't happy to defend two hearts. So these are the exceptions where we might double that go against those rules. But for the most part, I would stick to those rules that essentially if a double is made, we can just look at what have they doubled? Is it a no trump bid? Yes, therefore they're intending that to be penalties. Um, is it a suit that's been bid? Yes. Is it three spades or lower? Yes, therefore it's takeout. If it's four clubs or higher, it's for penalties. If we stick to those rules, then we can't go wrong. And just bear in mind these exceptions where um, it should be clear from the bidding that we don't quite mean uh, what would have been meant um, had we not been in that last uh, seat. So I hope that you enjoyed that and look out for some more videos coming soon.